Good evening, Floss Tube. It is Mandy coming to you with another stitching update. Uh, you can find me here on Floss Tube and on Instagram as Stitching B82. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch. If you are new, thank you for checking me out. If you are a returning video uh, viewer, then thank you so much for uh, subscribing, liking, commenting, all that good stuff. Um, so I do want to say huge thank you to everybody over the past couple of weeks. I have actually hit and remained over 200 subscribers. So when I signed up, uh, you know, and started uh, recording videos, I, I never anticipated that I would really get much of your viewership. So uh, all the love and support that I get from everybody, it's really appreciated. So thank you so much, everybody. So I know I was saying that I was planning on, you know, getting into a habit of every weekend, you know, or once a week, um, giving updates, but last week, um, well, so last week when I didn't record anything, um, like I've been trying to do on Friday evenings, the week, you know, leading up to that, I really hadn't, uh, stitched on much to show. Um, I had a lot of progress on my eagles, but... Uh, that was really the only thing that I had to show. I had one other project that had maybe a hundred stitches, but you know, it would have been a five minute update. So I know any update is always a good update, but I, I really didn't have a whole lot. So I just figured I'll wait another week. So here we are. But I have a very exciting update with uh, said eagles. So I'll get into that when I uh, get to that whip and show. Um, so this very well may be a quick update as well. I don't really have, I've got three whips and a little bit of plans. I don't even have any haul to show. So, which isn't like me. I seem to be doing a whole lot of shopping, but I'm also keep telling myself, you don't need that. Um, I know I've mentioned a couple of times that I had some needle minders on order, still on order. So I did say something to the, uh, Etsy seller, um, I don't know, earlier this week, just saying, you know, I get it. There's a lot going on with the post office. You know, it's not even, you know, a complaint about the shop. She sent it out right away, but it just, there has been zero movement on it. And so she was going to put in a uh, lost package inquiry. Still haven't had no movement on the tracking information. So uh, it sounds like that she may send out some uh, replacements, but it, there's literally two needle minders. That's it. So not like I really need them, but you know, you pay for something, you kind of want to get it. But so I'm sure at some point they'll show up, not even worried about it. It's just, I keep checking it just to make sure they kind of don't get lost, you know, forever type of thing, I guess. So, but all right, well, might as well jump right into it, shall we? Uh, so the first one, I will put a picture of the whole piece. It is Shooting Star by Carolyn Manning Designs. I have started this a few weeks ago. I don't even remember the date. Um, today is April, um, April. Wow. Where did that come from? August 28th. I do know what month we're in. I do realize that we are almost into September. Don't even know where that came from. So August 28th. Um, so I am loving this piece there. Um, the colors are just, they're my, my kind of colors. So I like the, uh, the bold, the brilliant, the, you know, purples and reds. So, so pretty. So here's my update. I am stitching this on a piece of 16 count white Ada. It is uh, two over one full cross. So I guess we don't have to really say over one when it comes to Ada, but um, full cross, two strands. And uh, you can tell there's a little bit of white here. There is white here and here. There's actually quite a bit of uh, B5200. Well, you know, that's the white here. Uh, there's quite a bit of B5200 throughout the whole piece filling in. So when you see these little white spots, you know, blank spots like that, that is actually being filled in with white. So I'm not 100% sure about these purples. Um, like where the yellow is at, the corners is a purple. And then, you know, you can see these diamond shapes like that. That's another purple. So it's not really looking too different when you look at those purple and purple like that. But otherwise, I'm I'm loving the colors. So needle minder is from Gina's Unique Needle Minders on Etsy. So yeah, and I've got this in a uh, 11 by 11 Q snap. Love my 11 inch Q snaps. So this one's a fun one. Um, 
yeah, I was trying to figure out how much I had, um, maybe 400 since the last time I saw. So just starting to fill in. This is going to be a full coverage piece, but not large. And um, next piece, I'll put the latest picture. It is the Positivity Rules uh, Stitch Along from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. I am still working on um, part three, part four actually comes out. It's labeled as the 29th, but because it's released in the UK, kind of overnight, I guess, or early mornings for the 29th, we actually get it here by like 10 p.m. on uh, Friday, you know, on the 28th. So uh, I'll actually get to see what that next part is. I'm probably not going to wait that long to get this video posted, even though it's already 8 o'clock on a Friday night. But um, so we'll see that next time. But I'm still working away on uh, part three. I just I really haven't put a whole lot of work into it, but I did pick it up this week. So I have that adorable little cloud. So cute. That's two different colors. And then I started putting in the rainbow. Um, I think the last time showed I had the whole gray done with the pink almost done so I'm still have it on the hoop but um the pink goes down into here so I got that completely finished um when I showed last time I think I shared that I didn't quite make my s correctly so then it set these off a little bit differently so when I started up here at the top it put this whole roof a couple of stitches different one way or the other and I decided I wasn't going to frog it out we're just gonna work with it as is and it will be just fine it wasn't enough to rip out this entire word and how far along I had gotten with the gray to even make it worth just removing it all so we are going to fudge our way to make it work and uh, because it's looking like it's a house I'm assuming there's gonna be you know sides with the bottom we're just gonna make it work. It will be just fine. And the needle minder came. I I had to purchase it separately, but it was released for the kit. So, um, positivity rules. So, I I love the colors. This is such a cute little piece. Um, as you saw in the picture, there's a chimney over here with the moon and some stars, and then just the finishing of the rainbow here. So. I don't, I'm not too far behind, and I know that the next piece is coming out tonight. It's not going to be done by then. Not a big deal. So, I would like to try to get that finished, you know, before the end of the year, just so that I can, you know, add it to the finishes for the year and keep up with it. But I'm not worried about the fact that I'm still a bit behind on that part. So, uh, so my last whip is going to be my Eagles. So, uh, Together We Stand, artwork by Jody Bergsma, and um, charted by Heaven and Earth. And, um, milestone. I hit a milestone. I, um, at some point I'll be putting a uh, picture of the full piece. It is on the Q-snap. I'm not going to take it off. It's trying to juggle it when I do the final, uh, you know, when it's completely finished, I'll try to uh, juggle it around so that you can see it all rather than on a picture. But for the time being, I am just going to put a whole picture here. So 49 pages total on the whole project. I completed 42 so that means that I completed row number six worth of pages so I am on to the final row of pages um, I have six partial pages to go the um well seven rather so because it's seven pages wide they're almost a full page but not quite and then the last um, the very last page is 25 stitches wide so not quite the full page up and down but then 25 stitches wide so I am under 30,000 stitches to go I forget the numbers now I um, if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen it there I know I'm pretty sure I had the uh, caption there about the amount of stitches I had left I want to say it was right about 2700 I'm sorry 27,000 stitches remaining out of the 213,000 stitches so it's it's incredible I'm just I'm loving it and really not a whole lot left to go on it um so I did go ahead and get started and there's stitches stitches die 
she's been such a such a pal to have hanging around here so again i do have it on the q snap i'm not taking it off but i'll show you where i finished um last time so the whole page is I'm not gonna be able to hold this completely so last time you saw i had you know white the red so i finished out that whole that whole section is done i uh there was one day i counted figured out that i had like 1100 stitches and so it would have been last saturday or sunday i think it was might have been friday into saturday I couldn't put it down and I got it done. So that eagle is pretty badass and I love him. So then starting on the final row of pages, I have now come back over here and this is not the final or the bottom. I don't I don't remember how many um, stitches I have left to go there, but um, just a few little ninja stitches there to finish um, before kind of jumping over. There we go. No, um, needle minder still. I haven't changed it out. Needle, um, Gina's unique needle minders. So these guys are incredible. And uh, so if you're in any of the Facebook groups, um, I know I've posted it in Stitch Mania, Full Coverage Fanatics, um, the official Heaven and Earth group. It's uh, I definitely cross-posted it quite a bit. So you might have seen it multiple uh, places. And I just, I got so much love on it. Just so many people um, complimenting, you know, commenting about it. And then all of the likes and loves and even the shock faces and stuff. It's uh, it's just been really cool. So can't wait to uh, get that going. I'm still looking forward to trying to get it done by the end of the year. But we'll see. I mean, as much of an obsession as it has been you know it's quite possible but i don't want to force it because i don't want it to become a chore you know that kind of thing so and that's all i have to work on or have worked on since you know the last eagles literally um two days i worked on um the shooting star and one day working on positivity i did stitch a little bit on my lunch today on positivity not a whole lot um but otherwise it has been the eagles and so, um, for the most part, it's really going to be, that's really my main focus, trying to get it done. I did finish a park in the National Parks Challenge for Full Coverage Fanatics. I don't remember the name of it. The names are all running together. But I did count. So there's 25 total national parks for the Full Coverage Fanatics where you stitch 4,000 stitches um, for one park and then you move on. So there's five tiers, total of 25 parks. I have, I looked through everything and I have completed, I want to say I've completed 11 parks just on, on the Eagles this year, the, because that challenge started at the beginning of the year. So five, no, 4,000 stitches times 11 parks. That's been a lot of stitching. Good stuff. So I'll give a little bit of plans, plans because like I said, you know, I'm obsessed with my eagles, but I do have a couple of things that I want to actually um, get started on, stitching at least, or, you know, kind of uh, get working on. So I mentioned a couple of videos ago, there's a new magazine challenge. It's called um, Magazine Challenge Facebook Group. It is Magazine Monthly Challenge Group. Um, I'll link it below. Uh, Carolyn Zook and Robin... Um, Bird's Eye Stitches started it. They decided that they had so many different magazines that they hadn't been stitching anything out of, and they finally decided to come up with a challenge to try to actually start getting working on those. So each month has a different theme. They did give a uh, release for the, they have it set for the whole year, um, starting September through August of next year. And so each month there's a different theme that you can start, you know, stitch on something from a magazine. And then there's also an acrostics challenge that they have a word. Uh, if you follow any of the, um, like the 24 hours of cross stitch group, Jen Lee, she has a, an acrostic where there's a word that you find a project to fit each letter out of the word. I think this month's word, well, this month's theme for the magazine challenge is 
fall. And so their acrostic is the word leaves. I'm not planning on doing the acrostic, uh, especially because right now my eagles is the focus and I don't want to try to come up with something. You set your own goals, you know, type of, type of thing to make it work on the acrostic. So I'm just really wanting to focus on doing the, um, starting a different themed project. Um, I've got so many magazines. I, I'm sure my collection is nowhere near as big as some, but I've got quite a few magazines and I've got a ton from um, cross stitch and needlework an older magazine that stopped production. I think it was in 2016 So many cute projects in those that I want to do but I haven't really focused on doing any of them There's been a couple but nothing too major. So I decided to go ahead and give on that And so my um, project that um the like challenge starts September 1st. So that's next Tuesday So I don't know that I'm necessarily planning on starting exactly on the first I may We'll see how it goes um but i have chosen uh it's a piece called falling leaves the designer is kathleen burlew 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 and it is out of the cross stitch and um needlework magazine fall 2015 so that's the cover of the magazine and then it's this one and it, i just i love the colors out of it i just think they're really unique and it's not a big piece. It's only 66 by 93. So it's, it really could stitch up pretty quickly. So I am doing it on a piece of, um, picture this plus 16 count in fresco, Ada. So it's just this really pretty neutral. Not really, I don't really see any modeling, maybe a little bit. Um, I don't think it's even gonna fill up this whole piece. I think when I put it into the calculator, uh, fabric calculator, it may be about an inch. If you think of putting three inch border for everything, it may be a little shy. I'm not worried about having three inches each side. It will be just fine. So really pretty neutral. And these are three of the colors I haven't pulled. Um, there's a 310 and then a purple, I think it was 357 or something. So really pretty colors. I even kind of tossed around thinking maybe pulling some of the, going through those color and cotton that I've been showing and see if there's maybe something, um, a pretty cool fall color with those. I don't know though, but these are the DMC colors. So they're pretty. Not, they're nothing or something that I really haven't done a whole lot with those kind of shades. And so, yeah, something a little fun. Um, and then the other thing that I thought about doing, so, um, sorry, I keep saying um tonight, but if you follow Erin to Martini Stitcher, she was doing the Lizzie Kate, one of the monthly series that Lizzie Kate's does, and so she was stitching, uh, the monthly, like the next month ahead. So in August, she was stitching September, September, she's stitching October. Well, I started the... Um, there. the hands-on design a year of celebration so this is the August and September they're so cute I love them I've started a few of them I think I've got four of them done but I haven't done anything with them yet so I think I want to maybe maybe not necessarily start with the whole work in a month ahead type of thing because I'm really wanting to do the September one, but I'm thinking of maybe try to actually incorporate this and focus on getting one a month done so that I can actually start, you know, putting them on display. So I don't really care about the whole back to school thing for September. I don't have kids. That really doesn't mean a whole lot to me, but I'm a huge bookworm. I absolutely love reading books. So I want to reach her instead of it staying study. I want to put read maybe books. I haven't quite decided, but something else there. Uh, there's an alphabet there. I was thinking of just completely leaving that off altogether. Um, maybe taking the tassel off, maybe just taking, doing something so that it's not a graduate because that part doesn't really mean anything to me. But these designs are so cute. And I do have this little wooden frame that I was going to paint. It was like a, um, galvanized metal sign or something but then I also like the idea of just getting like a little easel 
in so that they're just like mounted on a um, sticky board or something and just flip them out. I don't do the whole Priscilla and Chelsea um, fancy finishing and everything. So just something little easy like this so that you can uh, flip them out. Um, the August one is really cute. I just saw that today. I haven't haven't even looked at it so I like the sunflower in that um, but I'll go ahead and show what I do have done so I have the January so you can tell a little bit that there's some white uh, snowflakes there I think you can see them maybe easier in person or whatever but um, not the called for colors by any means because I think these are actually charted in like over dyed. and when especially when I started these, I didn't have any kind of over dyed threads, even the color in cotton. So they're charted in Weeks Dye Works, Gentle Art, Classic, and I don't have all of those. So what I was doing was I would pull my DMC box, looking at the picture, and say, "All right, this color works. I like this color. This color works as a replacement of." I don't have one of these magazines, but okay, well, here's a blue, here's a green, you know, here's a brown. I think that's brown or is that black? Looks like $37.99 probably. You know, here's pretty orange and just, you know, stitching away with whatever colors that I um, found. And then here is February. And these are all stitched on a piece of 14 count Ada in oatmeal that I just bought one of those big rolls from, um, Joann's. I've started working on these actually in like 2017, I think. I think I did January and February then, and then I haven't done anything with them at all. So, um, so again, not called for at all. It was literally looking at the picture. Here's my DMC and saying, this color works, this color works, this one works. So they're so fun to stitch up. They're just really pretty colors. And really easy and I just stitch these in hand. I always use a hue, uh, hoop or a hue snap. These, because this Ada is actually really thick and sturdy, I just stitched in hand. Um, and so then here's April. Uh, this one and the May one I actually stitched last summer. So the first two I stitched a while ago. I started March at some point back, you know, 2017 or whatever. I've it's got a little leprechaun. I got his shorts done and then I put it down, put the colors away. So I don't even know what colors those were. So I don't, I may just restart that one. I know the pieces are on here somewhere, but I may just completely restart it. Um, but here's April. Cute little cloud again. And again, it was just literally pulling some, pulling similar colors, looking at the picture. It wasn't Googling, you know, well, here's the equivalent. It was literally, here's my DMC box and pulling colors that compared to the picture or that I just thought would work better. And then here is May. And so it says basket. So this was fun. I'm um, just trying to get all of the little flowers and then checkerboard little basket and stuff. So, so yeah, those have been fun. So I would like to get back to stitching these again. So if I get motivated, I may work on at least starting the um, September one and seeing what kind of design changes I want to make to it to make it more of a um, book theme versus back to school. Not everybody has to go back to school, so I don't know why all of these monthlies are always school related. So, but uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So, for something uh, that I didn't have a whole lot to talk about here, we're sitting at 24 minutes, and I didn't think that I'd even have that much. So, um, not a whole lot going here uh, with me, life wise. Just, uh, I am still working away. I, a couple weeks ago, I was able to, uh, I think I mentioned getting my computer from the office. And so I've got my regular desktop computer set up at home now. So, well, that's, that's all that I have here. It's been another 25 minutes or, you know, 25 minute video when I didn't think that I'd even have that much. So, so plans, like I said, just working away. I'd like to, um, maybe see about starting one of these. And so my plans really is just to get like a piece of sticky board. And I know I didn't leave a whole lot of margin, especially that May one and just 
put it on a piece of sticky board and like I said I think I want to get a little easel and put it on so I don't know we'll see so um yeah that's it I hope everybody is doing well staying safe and uh I can't believe that summer is wrapping up September is right around the corner and uh keep stitching and we'll see you guys again next week take care